Okay, so in this video we're going to see another example of how to use the multiple root theorem to answer a question. So the question says, explain why 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial has no double roots. And the way we're going to do this is a method called a proof by contradiction. So what a proof by contradiction is, is that we assume the opposite of what we're trying to prove. And then we work towards a false statement, and then therefore we can conclude that our original assumption is false, which then proves what we have to prove. So here, let's say, first, let p of x equal 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial. Okay, now, we can assume opposite of what we want to prove. So we want to prove that it has no double roots. So let's assume that p of x does have a double root. So assume p of x has a double root at x equals alpha. So if it has a double root at x equals alpha, well therefore p of alpha equals zero. And by the multiple root theorem, p dash alpha equals zero. Okay, so what does it mean for p of alpha to equal zero? Well, that just means subbing in alpha up here, we get that expression equal to zero. So, p of alpha is equal to one plus alpha plus alpha squared over two factorial plus alpha cubed over three factorial and that's equal to zero. Let's call that equation one. Now, for p dash alpha, first we need to differentiate p of x. So, p dash x is the derivative of one is zero. The derivative of x is one. The derivative of x squared over two factorial is two x over two factorial. The derivative of x cubed over three factorial is three x squared over 2 factorial. We can simplify this a little and we get 1 plus. Now 2 over 2 factorial is just 1, so that's an x over 1, which is x, plus, oh, that should be a 3 factorial. 3 divided by 3 factorial, well 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 factorial, and so if we have 3 divided by 3 factorial, that's 3 divided by 3 by 2 factorial, which is 1 over 2 factorial. So we have x squared over 2 factorial, and that's p dash x. Now, we know that p dash alpha is equal to 0. So, p dash alpha is 1 plus alpha plus alpha squared on 2 factorial, and that's equal to 0. And let's call that equation number two. Now, if we subtract one from two, this is what we get. Now, equation one was one plus alpha plus alpha squared over two factorial plus alpha cubed on three factorial minus 1 plus alpha plus alpha squared on 2 factorial. And that's equal to 0 minus 0. It's just simply 0. Okay, now if we distribute the minus 1, we get minus 1 minus alpha minus alpha squared. And you'll notice that all of these terms except for alpha cubed over 3 factorial cancel. So we get alpha cubed over 3 factorial is equal to 0, and that means that alpha is equal to 0. So what have we done? We've said that if there's a double root at x equals alpha, then the only way that there can be a double root is if alpha is equal to 0. But p of alpha is equal to 0, by our assumption, 
Remember the assumption was that we had a double root of 0. x equals alpha was a double root. So that means p of alpha is equal to 0. But when we plug 0 into p, we get this. So and p of 0 equals 1 plus 0 plus 0 squared over 2 factorial plus 0 cubed over 3 factorial which equals 1. All these become 0, so we have 1 plus 0. So p of 0 equals 1, but that's not equal to 0, which we have from up here. So, therefore, our assumption is false. And so, therefore, p of x has no double zero. And that's the end of the question. We've proven that this equation, 1 plus x plus x squared on 2 factorial plus x cubed on 3 factorial, has no double roots. And the method we used was a proof by contradiction. Okay, thank you.